Ah, yes. You know what time it is. It's time to end the third Jefferson City arc of of my YouTube channel. Let's upload the final video. Hmm. 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 Ah, yes. I see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What was that one tower called again? I think it was called... I think it was called... Red... Oh, I can't... I need to capitalize. Red... And... White... Uh... Guide Tower? I don't remember. I think I'm going to... Just put... Self... Supported... Tower... Ah, uh, yes. That's nice. By Hate Emojis. Alright. And this is the third video. I don't know if you I don't know if any of my viewers are going to care about this anymore since I already made two separate videos of this tower already. But who really who really gives a dang? So let's do this. Mm -hmm. Regardless of your location, you're legally you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA and or other laws you're required to tell us whenever your videos are made for kids <laughs> no this is not made for kids and what is this no i i don't cuss i don't do that i don't do that crap so it's time to finally upload this i guess and now the third jefferson city arc is finally over Oh, wait a second. Oh, hello, viewers. I didn't even know you were watching this video. I thought nobody was going to watch this, but okay, let's get, let's, let's talk about, um, talk about what I really hate. Alright, guys, so y'all know one thing by, by now. I hate LEDs. I hate them with a passion. But old school LEDs along with white only LEDs are my only exceptions for, for um for liking LEDs, everything else can just go in the trash. And um, today's video, I just want to talk about my hatred for modern LEDs. And this here is not a modern LED. This here is a a rare LED, rare indeed. It's a Horizon LED. Uh, I don't remember um which company makes this. Because I'm stupid, I can't remember anything. But I can't find a picture of a of a of Flash Technologies' newest LED beacons. So that's a resort to these here. You know that these are um these here are crappy LEDs. These two that you see right now. But yeah, I'm just going to show this. Since the day mode, the day mode flash on this beacon is actually pretty cool. It flashes faster than your average LED, like these two that you see here. So, um, there's that. I just wanted to show you that. The reason why I hate modern LEDs is because of one thing: they replace a lot of cool beacons and I'm going to say this right now I don't remember if I said because they replace a lot of cool beacons or if I missed one where it just says because they replace uh, because they replace a lot beacons or I don't know but if you hear that um, it, if that happened just remember um, I said they replace a lot of cool beacons, like a, like a flash technology dual strobe and the uh, the all rare flash technology red strobe, um, along with another very rare beacon. If I can find it, um, um, I found it through through these images here. Ah, yes, the. This is this here is very rare, a very rare beacon indeed. I think they're even more rare than the the LED her the 
the Horizon LEDs, which I now think that they're made from Huey and Phillips, since um, on that beacon it had a red, it had a red logo on it, and that beacon had a red. Well, and this here has a red logo on it. As you can see, as you can see, red logo. So that means that's from Huey and Phillips, as you can see. But these modern these modern LEDs are replacing all of these cool um di all these cool different unique um beacons and it sucks like i already know one tower that had like the most unique beacon ever it switch it would casually switch from day to night mode every single minute it had a fl i mean a Huey and Phillips uh um, um a, a Huey and Phillips dual strobe it was it was messed up so it would um go it would switch from day to night mode and um every minute or maybe even shorter i don't know but i remember it being every minute so um yeah it been it's been replaced by an old school led it's not modern which is the main focus of which is the main focus of, of this video well, this one looks cool I don't know if this here is a modern at all. I don't really know. But, um, modern LEDs suck. They may have a better night mode than the, the LEDs that came before it. That, well, the LED that came before it. I'm not talking about the old school one since the old school LEDs had the same exact night mode as, um, as, uh, flash technology dual strobes. So, yeah. These here, well, I don't know if this is the modern LED or not, but, um, um, modern LEDs have a, they have, it's so annoying, I want to ask you what app, what, ah, uh, crap, never mind, let's go back to this, alright, so yeah, they have a better night mode than the crappy LEDs, as I like to call them. So, um, yeah, there's something that I just wanted to tell you. And here's something else. Here's why I don't like modern LEDs. Uh, if I can find a picture. Alright, so this here is a crappy LED, I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is crappy LED. But, um, the reason why, it, here's something else why I hate modern LEDs along with crappy ones as well. I I mostly hate the crappy LEDs for having such for for having the world's worst night mode ever. It has such it has the quickest night mode flash ever. It's so quick. It's just like a strobe light. If it it's just like a strobe light. If it if the if the red strobe um acted like a day mode strobe or something. So um yeah um but um and yeah that's the reason why I hate um crappy leds here's another uh, here's the reason why i hate um modern leds i already told you guys but they replace other beacons that are much better and um one of my other friend one of my other friends on youtube that's also a beacon enthusiast can can agree with that so um yeah here's another thing why i hate them it's because they have flashing side markers. Like seriously, get these unnatural things out of my face. Holy crap, I hate them. Flashing side the reason why flashing side markers exist is because uh because birds, basically. It's time to I I said this multiple times already. It's time to declare war on birds. So the reason why the reason why flashing side markers exist to protect birds is because um a lot of stu a lot of birds that fly around cell towers um um FA said that um the steady the burning steady markers like that like on the strobes and incandescent beacons are hurting the birds' eyes so they run into the tower instantly killing them. So, um, yeah, in 2015, FAA 
yeah, 2015 FAA um, made an update forcing beacon companies to um, to create these mon to create these unnatural monsters. So um, yeah, they're not they're unnatural. I, that's the reason why I hate them. Uh, look, look at this. Look at this here. This LED is not worthy of standing right next to a single strobe. Along with these flashing side markers. Oh, and here's something even worse. I, I see in some crappy LEDs with flashing side markers. Yep, there's one in St. James. I made a video of that once. But not, but I never made a video of it at night up close. I will one day, I promise. But one of the, but there's a new tower in in St. James, right now. It currently has a, it was built in 2018, and it, it yeah, built right at the beginning of this modern LED takeover. But um, the beacon that was given to the tower when it was when it was constructed was a crappy LED. So um yeah, and it also had side markers as well, which was well flashing side markers I meant to say. Um it's the very first time I've ever seen flashing side markers and it was amazing at first, but um I the you know, it was cool at first, but um but I'm going to tell you to I'm going to tell you um, one thing that I'm going to, um, well, um, at, through, through time, I just, um, I was just like, man, hopefully these aren't going to replace the other uh, markers that don't flash and they're just steady and all that. That was one of, that was one of my fears then. And then I, then I was just like, you know what, these, these aren't really that cool anymore. They're repla they're, they're not, they're not natural. So, um. Yeah, I told myself they're not natural. They're supposed to be steady, and the the beacon is is supposed is a thing that's supposed to be flashing, and not the markers. But here's my here is um my last straw, when it came to flashing side markers. All right, so this here was my final straw with flashing side markers. This monopole right here. And as you can see, once I get closer to this, actually let's get behind this. Since the beacon, you're able to see the beacon the most when you're behind the tower itself. Um, behind the store as well. Ah crap, I can't deal with this. Okay, let's not do that again. I got to... Okay, I found perfect street view. So I can show the beacon fully, what well, clearly. Oh wait, you're wait, you are able to see the beacon in from uh, in front. Okay, so as you can see, this this uh, monopole has a um well in this street view it has a flash technology single strobe. And there's that on top. We go down. Oh, there it is. Do you see that? Yeah, let's. Let's zoom in to well, let's get closer to it and zoom in. Ah, uh, yes, markers. You know what that means? This is this this beacon, this single strobe is not white only. This here is the very first time I ever seen a fl a, a um a red and white single strobe. Before that, I never known that um single strobes could shine white and red well except for the except for the red well except for the red strobes because those are single strobes well they they count as single strobes but you know what i mean i'm talking about the white ones so um yeah this tower thanks to this tower i know that these beacons exist and um i got a feeling that that um this beacon here was meant to be the um the dual strobe of flash technology until it was replaced with the actual dual strobe like um you know um a beacon company called what named orga they have their three main types of strobes they got their um their um 
they're all single strobes. They got a white, a white and red single strobe, a white only single strobe, and a red only single strobe. So I, I, I want. I was wondering if, um, if Flash Technology wanted to do that instead of creating a um, dual strobe. And then they they just changed their mind and just went with a dual strobe and discontinued this. I don't know, but I strongly believe that because these are so rare. They are so rare. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I believe them, and the reason why this thing's able to shine red, even though that it's that it looks like a white only strobe, is because there is a red cone inside of the. The beacon that slides over the, the that that covers the, it slides over the flash tube and covers it up and then the flash tube switches from that very very quick flash to that very very slow flash like a su a two second flash that flashes that flashes every two seconds you know like a flash technology dual strobe on night mode yep this is basically the same on both day and night so yeah there's that. But the last time I have been to Springfield was back in back in uh September. And you know, I was going to I was going to the battlefield I mean me and my family were going to the battlefield mall which is um mom, you're able to see this tower um, from the parking lot. So I saw it from a distance and um before that, I was joking around with myself, saying, "Oh ho ho, hey mind, what would you do if you found out that if you seen that the that um the second Lowe's tower has got its single strobe replaced with an LED?" And yes, I prefer I I refer to this tower as the second Lowe's tower. Yeah, if you don't know already, there's a there's a a second Lowe's. T oh, I meant to say second Walmart tower. There's already there. There will never be a, another second Lowe's Tower. So I meant to say second Walmart Tower. This is why I prefer to call this tower. The reason why is because it is right... Oh wait, that's not the Walmart. It is right next to Walmart. That is the Walmart building. It's literally on Walmart property. It's just right over there. Just... Right next to the building. That's the reason why I call this the second Walmart Tower. And you know how I was joking around with my with myself, saying, "Oh, I, I imagine what I would do if um if I found out this got replaced with the, this beacon got replaced with a, uh, and with a with an LED, uh, a really really horrible LED." And um, I was just like, "Oh, I'll just I'll just freak, I'll just I'll." I'll wage war. I'll, I'll declare war. I'll destroy every single LED that exists. But then guess what? I seen it flash from a distance only once, uh, only for a mere moment. And the flash did not seem like your average. Um, it didn't seem like your average some um, strobe light black flash. Like it's just a literal, like a, like a flash, a, a blast of light. It was not like that. It was slower, but still bright. But a slower flash, like an LED. I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. And then um, the building that was blocking the tower, um, we got far enough from uh, from that building to where it wasn't blocking the top of the tower anymore. And then everything just came down. I looked at the tower and I saw an LED flashing on the tower. And that... <laughs> Holy crap. I, you know, I was with my family, so I wasn't able to just, to just, just um, throw a, t a, a, a five-year-old tantrum, which I don't do that anymore. But um, if I was a five-year-old and found out that, I, that this beacon here got replaced with an LED, I would do that. I would. But um, I was with my family, so I contained my anger for um, the the entire trip I did 
but um, I made a video of this tower at day and night during that trip, and you can visually tell that I was not happy when I made when I made the video. You got you guys gotta watch it. You just just listen to me complain about the beacon and all that, saying that was that it's just horrible. Well, I eventually recorded it at night because I want to record it at day and night. And then what I did, guess what I saw? Flashing side markers. On one of my favorite towers ever. My favorite, mo well, my second favorite monopole. Flashing side markers. After that, I was just done with flashing side markers. I was just, this here, this here, all the the single strobe light um when it shine red it it actually flashed and the markers will will be on as well but they'll be steady like a normal pair of uh, like a normal pair of markers so yeah that's how i always known it but seeing that i know that um it's going to stay like that for a long time i was I was, just, I was just so mad. That tower is never ever going to get another. It's never going to get a, another beacon in its life ever. Beacons, well, strobes are outdated. LEDs are the future. Like, holy crap. I wish I could do something about that. But that's the reason why I hate flashing sign markers. And my passion. Well, my passion of hating, uh, well, my passion of hating, um, uh, my passion of hating m modern I modern LEDs grew that day because this tower, I remember just some, like Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck E. Cheese is somewhere around this area. You're able to see this tower along with his little brother down there, which is beaconless. But um, you're able to see both towers, and you're able to mostly you're mostly able to see this from the window. So I always check and check to see if it's on night mode or not, and I always see it switch to night mode. And it was just so cool because it was the first time I ever found out that um, my it was the first time I ever seen a white and red LED. And the markers worked like normal. They were steady, like markers are supposed to be. And, uh, yeah. It's really sad seeing an LED placed on this tower. It really was. With flashing sign markers as well. That was my final straw. And that's the reason why I hate flashing sign markers. I hate them. I do. Man, I wish I could do something about this really badly. Man, I I do. I I fear I fear for the second Lowe's tower. If you don't know what that one is, what you got which um you guys should know because I made um, about a million ta a million videos of it. Um um this past year and and this year as well. Yeah, here I'm going. I'm going to show you. Okay, so um, this tower here, um, I refer to it as the second Lowe's tower. I refer this one as the first Lowe's tower. You want to know why? Um, it's because of one thing. One, only one thing. Just one. Tada. Even though that um, these towers are closer to Coles, I still prefer to um, call these two towers the two Lowe's towers. It's because um, because I remember when I was little, um, when me and my family went to Lowe's, I always see these two towers. And that's the reason why I called them the two Lowe's towers. And um, that never changed, even after Coles was built back in 2011, I believe. So, um, yeah, but the second Lowe's Tower has a flash technology, you know, it's warpy. It's warped. Alright, there. 
as you can see, it has a flash technology dual strobe. And it currently still has this beacon today. And it has some um, steady side markers. Because I never heard of a strobe light that came with flashing side markers. Never heard of it before. Hopefully it never happens. And well, actually, it, it will never happen. I don't know any beacon company that still creates strobe lights today. So, yeah, there's that. Strobe lights are going to become extinct. Along with the red and white single strobes, they're going to become extinct. They're already in danger. They're already rare. Rare as heck. But, um, you know, back when I was little, I remember seeing both towers um, on night mode a lot. Oh, and that's just an old model pole. I, I consider that model pole to be the third lowest tower. But it's no longer around anymore. It's dead. That's a crane. Um, this here is what it used this you see this this is how it was before see just a little trio trio of Lowe's towers the first Lowe's tower the second Lowe's tower and and the third Lowe's tower well 2017 ruined that when they decided when whoever owned it decided that it was just done with so oops so yeah, so like I was saying, I always known these towers for um, I always known this for only shining white, and I only and I always known this for being uh the polar opposite, shining white at day, and red at night, and um, and you know um, my little self, my young self, back my past self, every time I seen these two at night, even though um I, I was just like you know what. This tower having a white only strobe, well, a white light as I used to, well, a blue light. I used to call them blue lights because they looked blue to me back then. But um, I was just like, you know, I was just like, you know, even though that these, even though that the blue light does not have blue, does not have other blue lights on the tower. And the other tower with the red light has more red lights on it. It still looks cool. I grew up with um, this one having only one white strobe on it. This one having um, the polar opposite, a white strobe and a red strobe combined together. And at night, it'll just be a red strobe with markers. And I always, back when I was little, I, I always answer, I always want to... I always ask why do why do um single strobes and all those white um beacons not come with markers even if they don't shine red? Yeah, I always asked that back then, but I don't do that anymore because I've grown up with um with the way it is now. No markers, just a beacon. So um yeah, I always known that for that. And the uh, and I always known this tower for having one flashing light on top with steady side markers that don't flash so um yeah the reason why i fear for the future of this tower is because i already know this tower is one day going to get a modern led because strobe lights don't last forever and even if it's just even if the beacons replaced because it was forced to be replaced even if it was still working and stuff um I don't want this to. I I already know that's going to happen. Or if the, or the strobe light will just stop working and and you know, just stop working because of age. Because this tower was built in 1999. This one was built in 1990. But um, yeah, you know what I mean. If that happens, I don't want this tower to have flashing side markers. No flashing side markers, please, please. You know, I'm just waiting to find out, um, I just, you know, I am, you know, I don't want to wait. No way, I, that, that sounded wrong. I, I said, I want to wait. I want to wait on this, on this tower having a LED. I don't care. I don't care if, um, if it's going to be better or not. Like, if they're brighter or not. I don't want this having an LED with flashing sign markers. I want it to be the same like it is right now. 
this tower um, was partially ruined because back when I was little, this always used to have a uh, a flash technology single strobe. It no longer has that. Back in 2014, it's been replaced with a flash technology LED or no, I, I think it was a, a different company that made this, but it's just some white LED nowadays. Yeah, it's been replaced by white only LED, which is very, very dim at day, but um, very, very bright on overcast days. And it's um it's bright as well on night. Like it's even brighter than both um than both um day or overcast all together. So yeah, there's that. I always known these two for being for being um um the two Lowe's towers. And you know what, I already hate side mark flashing side markers, but if this tower gets flashing side markers, I think I'm just going to be done talking about it. Uh, yeah, I'll just quit. I'll just quit with side markers, with flashing side markers altogether. I don't think I'll be able, I don't think I will ever have the strength of talking about them again on the channel. So yeah, there's that. And that's the reason why I hate modern LEDs with flashing sign markers. Bye.